don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and share. Thank you. Hi YouTube, this is Betty with Scrap Passion 01. I have a quick card share for you guys. And um, I'm going to share with you the products that I use to create my card. I actually created this card for a customer. Um, she contacted me and wanted a birthday card for her husband. Um, and she wanted it like a royal king um, type thing for the card. So this is what I used. I used the Anna Griffin. Anna Griffin Celebration Stickers and Sentiments. I love this, you guys. It has all of these little um, embellishments as well as the sentiment and stickers. Love this. I also use the Anna Griffin Crown Cut and Embossed Dies. So this is like a little sample sheet of, you know, the prop cards and things that they some of the people created using that die set. Real nice, I like it. And here are the dies. I use this one right here, and then I use that crown. All right, next up, I use the um, Laurel die set. And I'm trying to figure out the one I used. Let's see, Let me open it up. Let's see, I use this die right here. This die right here, but I cut off the bow because I didn't want the bow on the card because this is for a guy. So, and this is what the dies look like here. Very nice set of dies. You can see the size on some of them. Really, really nice. And then I use this die right here. This is called the ornamental frame. I didn't use these dies here, I just used the main die. And then I used these six by six matting basic dies. Okay, so here's the card. She wanted a black, purple, and gold theme. And so this is what I came up for came up with for the card. Um, you can see all of the dies featured here. This is now that um, crown die. I used like that little pennant type thing. And I used it as, as a background. And I got that idea from, I think her name is Anna Marie. She features a lot of um, Anna Griffin products. And she created like a background using, let me show that die to you again. using using this die right here and basically what she did she cut this part off and then just she cut out four of these as a background and so that's what I did um I love that ideal and so I tried that and then here's that main ornamental die here and then this is part of the crown die set and as well as the crown and then here's the sticker best wishes is your day uh, from what i shared with you that sticker stack and then here's this here's the laurel die and then i just cut the little ribbon parts off because i didn't want that and then i just put a little diamond piece here as well as here i mainly added these little diamond pieces to kind of hold this down because I didn't want to put any wet glue or anything because it'll it'll seep out because it's so thin. And so to hold this down, I just use some gemstones. So that's what I like to do sometimes when the pieces are really intricate. And I don't want to use a lot of wet glue and get it everywhere. I'll just use something like a little, dime, a little diamond studs to hold it down. So this is really cute. It has two layers. Um, you guys know that I pop all of my cards up on matte board. So there's a matte board up under this layer, as well as a matte board on this layer and this layer and the crown. So I like my pieces uh, or uh, elements to my cards to be very dimensional. Even the background pieces are raised up on pop dots. 
So I, I just like, this card is heavy too, but I like dimension. I don't like it to be too flat, especially when I'm doing it for, you know, as a customer card. So the inside I kept very, very simple. This is a top fold card. I used that gold um, paper and that came from um, Anna Griffin. As well, and the other, this purple metallic type paper that came from Tonic Studios, as well as the black matte paper here, that's Tonic Studios. But the gold paper is from Anna Griffin. And here's the inside of the card. As I said, I kept it very, very simple. I included another crown. Um, the recipient would like to write their own message, so I wanted them to have a lot of space. Um, usually, I like to pull in the uh, piece on the front and the inside, but she wanted to write her own message, so I wanted to make sure that she had enough room to do so, so that's why I left it like that. And then here's the back. So that's my uh, card share for you guys today. I hope you like it. Please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you always do something with love and passion. Bye.